I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Every Life with same. God is so good. And I'm thankful for living. We're so thankful, thankful that you're here with us and joining us on the show, Life yeah. with Gwen and Joe. Keep shining my light, living my life. Every day is the same. We see God in everything. I'm thankful for living. Together, we'd like to help you fall more in love with God. We're going to see all of our experiences, all the things that we do, and places we go, and people we hang with, and it is going to be something that helps us all focus more on God. And in the meantime, we're going to fall in love more with God, and our lives are going to be blessed. You're a thriver in dark seasons, a survivor. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Welcome everybody. It's uh, Life with Gwen and Joe. I'm Joe and this is my beautiful wife Gwen. And we're here on the playground at the Remnant Fellowship Church. And we're surrounded by a bunch of wonderfully godly children who are having a great time. Uh, and they're, they're out there playing around and having, having fun. It's actually hundreds of children. Hundreds. We are blessed with a plethora. That is part of the blessings of the upright. It talks about in Deuteronomy that blessed will be the fruit of your womb. And so we're witnessing it at... Absolutely. Uh, you know, there's almost like 40 babies a year born here. So between the marriages and the babies and the children, I mean, children make everything so fun. It talks about in the Bible it being such a blessing. Are you kidding me? Isn't it awesome, all these kids? It talks about how a righteous man, his children will be blessed along with him. So that compels me to want to live a more righteous life, knowing that if I'm in line with God, then he'll bless me and he'll bless my family as well. And with my kids having seven between them, we've got eight running around all the time. It is nothing but fun. So we're talking about kids are right now, they are playing soccer. There's soccer fields and swings and four square and name the game, they got it here. But the thing is, is that look at children. Who would have come up with, like, think about it. Kids like to play. That's right. And that's the coolest concept. They love to play. That's their reward. And we like to watch them play. But what? who would have come up with that? Only God could have come up with the wildest concept in the world. And it's not like you just got one kid that wants to play. Check it out. If you can recess, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Everybody runs for the doors. That's right. Everybody's out the doors. They and, and if it's a rainy day, they're in there dancing and and hopscotch and all kind of stuff. It is so fun. Even as an adult, as you grow out of your childhood stages and you grow up, they say, never lose your childlike qualities, right? Right. We're always trying to, even as adults, maintain those childlike enthusiasms towards the things that we love to do. And I think that's so cool because I feel like God's gifted you with that and it, it keeps us all outdoors. It keeps your muscles moving and keeps right. you active. It keeps you young. It does. That's right. That's and right. think about that. That must be what God's like and the, the kingdom of God. And Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. And that's beautiful to me. So these little children are, there's something about the way they are. They're playing, they're laughing, they're sharing. They're, um, there's an innocence there. It is. And sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but Hey, they're learning to be little athletes here that are Christian athletes where you really want other people to win. You're not playing the game just for you to show off, but for other people to have fun. So everything goes in this concept. You, you share, so generosity, kindness, love, letting other people get in line in front of you on the slide, the other team winning and you being happy for them. They pray before they play. You know, all of this together is like they grow up and then they go, really to their jobs, but jobs should be fun and playing and getting along and sharing and kindness and putting other people first. To be appreciative of the people who, who you competed against, even though they won, you show them respect and because nobody likes a sore loser, right? They don't like a sore loser. No. Being that Christian athlete is huge yes. here. We teach it all the time because you kind of tend to forget it. <laughs> I mean, it is hard to remember that when you're playing 
some of these sports and stuff that the goal is to make the other people happy. Because a lot of times, you know, we just go after what we want. And so you learn not to show off and that it's all for the glory of God. The children, oh my word. I don't know what it would be like if you removed all children from the world. I, I wouldn't even want to live. I mean, that's how much well, I want them around. We turned our home into like a playground, right. like a Disney World <clears throat> so that it attracts children. And because of that, usually there's quite a bit going on with the kids <laughs> at, at the house. They're bouncing around. They love to jump, gymnastics, all of it. And But isn't that neat that God makes children like that? It needs to be just the, the joy that it is. It's just like, I can't get enough of it. And I know that it's a blessing from the Lord. Psalms 112, blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who finds great delight in his commands. His children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Sons are a heritage from the Lord, children a reward from him. So children Amazing. are a reward. That's right. And you hear parents often talk about, and grandparents talk about, being around the young, the young ones keeps you young because we kind of live vicariously in their youth. Yes. And uh, learn from your kids. What, what's that saying, out of the mouths of babes? Even they teach us at times. Oh, absolutely, they you do. Know? They so. do, that's right. So. so I'm gonna beat you in a game of four square. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm a sore loser. <laughs> I, this is so fun watching this guy get out and like get down in the sand and you know, swimming, so. You are a child at heart and big know, time child at heart here. That's yes. right. That's yes. right. So everybody, the point would be today is praise God for children. Amen. Make way for the children. Amen. Let the little children come to God. It's huge. We're just praying for blessings on you and your children. Just keep remembering that righteous life leads to blessed children. There is a one-to-one -one ratio. You are yes, promised. Go after that righteousness. If you wonder how to help your kids, go after righteousness, and that'll do it. Zachariah, the city streets will be filled with boys and girls playing there. Woohoo! So, let's live That's for what we our, feel like we're around. Live for our kids, fathers, mothers. Get everybody together in the family. Huddle them up. Get out the Bible. Read the Bible to them. God commands us to raise them in His eyes. So let's do that. And it says right here, it says in the Bible that your family and your children will be blessed if you do, the, if you do those things. So Beautiful. I encourage you to do that. Beautiful. And uh, we, love all, we love you all and we thank you for tuning in. Bye everybody. Love you all. See you all. next week. Take care. Give it more strength like leaves down. <laughs> All right, we're going to get started here. Like, can you do the welcome? Like, like there's people out there watching. So can you Where? Kind of like, like, pull them in? Are there people out there? Yeah, they're Where? out there. I, I see them oh, right here. Oh, I see them now. Hey! <laughs> hey, guys, how are you? <laughs> nice to see you again. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video. Thank you.